I made some notes based on last year, and then this year I was up talking to Mark Carlson, our PA announcer earlier, and uh, he reminded me of some of the things. As you mentioned, the little tiny gloves, it's like a gardening glove. It's about the equivalent of a, of a glove you would wear out in your yard when you're pulling weeds, and uh, not the big padded, comfortable gloves that they wear today. And um, Of course, it's, the ball is dead by comparison. Uh, it's, uh, it's nothing like a, a modern baseball. A walk, now we're, we're, you're watching now a, a, a vintage game between a team that happens to be called the Pacifics, has no relation, it just happens to be called the Pacifics from San Francisco, a team that existed in the 1800s against the All-Stars, and you can see a play to center field, and the batter got all the way around a second which was called a two-baser, but yeah, seven right. balls for a walk as compared to the modern game of four. A foul ball is not considered a strike. Uh, if A hit batter is nothing. You don't get a, it's not called a ball, nor is it, nor does it award the batter a free trip down to first base. And arbiter instead of an umpire, and you can see here when we pull back, We'll get a view of home plate, the arbiter standing behind home plate and the throw to home, and there's the arbiter to make the signal that, in fact, the runner was safe as the throw came in. How about, how about that outfit of the arbiter? What's that, Alex? How about that outfit of the arbiter? Yeah. That's the first time I came, and he's got the nice hat on. He's got the derby the vest. Gun. Yeah. The other thing that's sort of interesting is the batter has an opportunity to tell the pitcher where he wants the pitch. And the pitcher must oblige. And the arbiter who stands right there makes sure of that. So in this case, the batter wanted his pitch low and he got it and he earned a base hit out of it by knocking one out into short right field. It's very interesting though, the balls, again, don't jump like the modern balls. And as a consequence, the players are in closer, the infield players are in closer, and the Outfield players are much closer. And the other thing is you'll notice, it's hard to tell from this angle, but you'll notice that the pitcher, A, can work at his own pace. And in this case, the pitcher is working very quickly to offset the timing of the batter. And, wow, look at that, a double play? No. And I see the reason why was the, the shot was down the first base line, stepped onto the first base. The first baseman tagged the bag and then threw it over to second where the force out was taken away. The guy slid in. The second baseman didn't realize the force was off. So the runner is safe over at second base. Anyway, the pitcher can work as quickly as he wants and he's only throwing from 54 feet. And in the So they got a little strategy with that because they just seem once they get the ball back from the catcher, they wind up and fire again. Yeah, they're just throwing it as quickly as possible to offset the timing of the hitter. And this is back to the pitcher who now has the runner in a pickle. And the pitcher's going to take it himself and tags the runner on his way to third base. It's vintage baseball. And we're only going to have just a couple more outs of this. It's been going on for the past couple of hours here at Albert Park as part of the Pacific celebration of July 4th. And uh, the stadium filling up very nicely. Now, if you... Notice there was a schedule 115 start today, but the game will be delayed just a little bit. The Vallejo Admirals, who are scheduled to play this afternoon here at Albert Park against the Pacifics, the first place Pacifics, uh, were involved in a parade up in Vallejo this morning, a 4th of July par parade. So the game start has been delayed slightly, maybe a half an hour or so. So Alex and I are going to have, we'll have the conclusion of this vintage game between the, these two teams, the Pacifics and the All-Stars. And both of these teams out of San Francisco, and they, they play regularly against one another. There's a whole league of vintage ball players. And... Uh, and we'll get a little explanation. I know we'll have the manager and the founder of the league coming on yeah. after this ball game concludes. So and we'll get a little more info on it. 
Yeah, the other thing is all the players only have a nickname. They just go by a nickname, and this batter is Cha-Cha. And you can see there's not an age uh, limit in vintage ball. <laughs> Cha-Cha looks like he's been playing ball for a few years. I saw him get a hit earlier, though. He really <laughs> no, he had a knock. Pretty good hit. So we'll see how Cha-Cha does here as the right-handed pitcher from 54 feet. And Cha-Cha barrels one out to right field, and he brings in the winning run in the Pacifics. And Cha -cha have delivers. won it. Cha-Cha with the game-winning knock out to right field. Ladies and, gentlemen, let's and that concludes ball. today's Players, vintage nice baseball game out here at Albert Park. Well, that was pretty cool, Alex. That was cool, and Cha-Cha ends it with the knockoff hit to right field. That's fitting. It really is. It's the, uh, it's the San Francisco Vintage Baseball Association between the All-Stars and the San Francisco Pacifics. And, uh, geez, what a Thank great you, celebration John. after Cha Cha with the game winner. So it's, on one hand, wish uh, we could have gotten a little more time for you viewers to see this vintage game using the old ball and the old equipment. But the good news is, is we're going to have some of the players up here to talk about vintage baseball. And, uh, and some other people. So when we come back, we'll have our first interview of the afternoon right here on Marin TV. The Pacific's game will be delayed just a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah, let's get Cha-Cha. And when we come right back, we're going to have Cha-Cha live on the air. Marin TV's coverage of the 2014 Pacific's. We'll be right back. <laughs> 